Let me show you some of the areas that are damaged and infested with the wood boring beetles. The wood boring beetles start on the outside. They lay their eggs on the bark and then their larvae hatch and the larvae burrow into the wood. So this is exactly what's going on. If you look closely, this is the original bark on the outside here. You see all these holes here? Those are burrowing holes and all these meandering tunnels, those are from the wood boring beetle larva. Most of the activity happens within the first inch or two. This hole goes all the way through to the other, other side. <laughs> they can cause some pretty significant damage, but many times what's happening with the wood boring beetles is even if you see these meandering tunnels and wood in your house, this is just inactive old damage from the wood boring beetles, but not in today's case. My friend built this dresser from scratch for his son, but after he put the dresser in his room, they started to notice fresh sawdust, aka frass, and actually saw live beetles appearing out of the furniture. Luckily, he knew I was the bug man and texted me these photos. I was there later that day to give him a hand. We found larva, we found new frass, and we found adults. So I've got my paintbrush. We've got a drill mixer to mix up the bore care. We're going to pour the bore care in here with water, and then we're simply just going to paint it onto the surfaces like I discussed. I actually did a previous video a couple years ago about wood boring beetles I found in firewood next to my house. It was infesting the firewood. I'll show you some pictures of the wood boring beetle larva I was actually able to find in this wood. I just chopped it up and pulled out the larva so I could show it on video. The larva, they're just little worms. They're about half an inch long and they've got huge jaws. They look nothing like the adult beetle, but those huge jaws are what they use to burrow through the wood uh, they are consuming the cellulose and starch in the wood and that's how they're getting the energy They're not just burrowing in the wood for fun or to lay their eggs or anything like that They are actually consuming the wood. They spend most of their life Inside the wood the adults only come out just to mate. So let's go ahead and pour the bore care in one eighth of a gallon of water in here and we're going to mix one eighth of a gallon of bore care in here so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And as you guys may know about bore care, bore care is really thick. So for that reason, we're going to have to mix it with this. Uh, let me show you what the bore care looks like right now. So the bore care, you can kind of see the striations. The, uh, it's pretty much stuck to the bottom right now. See it sliding down. So that's what we use the drill for. So see it sticking to the mixer there. So yeah, you just mix it up like this. And if you're able to use warm water to mix up the bore care, it helps it mix uh, at a better uh, rate and quicker. But as long as you mix it with a real tool like this, it's going to be totally fine. And we're just going to lightly apply it, like I said, to just the original outside portion of the tree, which is just the bark. It's basically just these layers right here, these areas right here, and then there's a layer on the back we're gonna do as well. And the feet. I've definitely mixed way more than I'm gonna need. The borates are going to penetrate, stick to those particles in the wood. I don't know the science behind it, but it's going to kill off the the beetle larva in a matter of time. So continuing on with this top layer right here, I'm just trying to poke it into these little grooves in the bark. We're also gonna paint it on the top and the bottom. The area that has the tongue oil, the nice varnish you see on it, that's not going to take the bore care very well. It acts like a kind of protective layer. I was actually just able to get this bristle about almost a whole inch into one of these burrows. So that's gonna be good for the treatment. So now I've got the top one done. I'm just gonna work my way down. There's some pretty significant damage areas here, 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 here uh, on this section of wood. So just be sure to try to get the bristles like just as far into these little holes as you can. The bore care is gonna seep into the tunnels. Check out how far down into the wood these holes go. I'm going to stick the brush bristles down into them and they're gonna be soaked with the bore care so it's gonna uh, get you know down there really far. But okay, so see the end of the bristle right here? It doesn't take much, just a couple of drops of bore care seeping down into that hole. Look at this, right here. Watch how much I'm pulling out of this hole. Look at that. 
that's almost two inches straight down. There's another one right here that also goes pretty far down. Watch this one. It's a solid inch down into the wood right there. But yeah, a lot of people think that the wood boring beetle, you know, meandering paths give the wood some character. And I have to agree, you know, sometimes it does look cool to see those like, just like tunneling little paths in the wood. It is, it's cool to see and it's a cool design but it's not cool whenever they're alive and active. These are slow moving insects guys. They're, and there's only one, you know, in each hole. So they're not going to like tear your house down overnight. And most wood that is used for your structural house, it's treated properly initially as soon as it's harvest. But it's when you get wood like this, that's like personally handcrafted that can potentially have these wood boring beetles because it's just uh, taken care of in a very unique way and personal way and sometimes that means it wasn't you know sealed off from the natural environment or it was air drying or other reasons like that so i'm almost done with this front side here i'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna treat actually i'll show you I'll show you that right now water's starting to turn brown which that's okay here's a hole that's going pretty far down into the wood solid inch into that burrow right there yeah, these, these things are, uh, they're not common, I would say, but you need to be aware of them, especially if you're doing any kind of customizable, you know, woodwork, stuff like that. You don't want these to infest. Just as a reminder, I am always going to speak the truth about pests on my channel, and that includes not scaring you about the possibility of these beetles infesting your home. 99% of the time, wood boring beetles are not going to be an issue inside the structural integrity of your home. This is because 99% of the wood is properly treated and seasoned when it's harvested. This involves storing the wood in dry, well-ventilated areas. Lower moisture content makes the wood less suitable for egg laying and larval development. Using wood that has been treated with insecticides and preservatives can deter these beetles from infesting your wooden structures. All right, I wanted to show you a good example on this back section here. This is the back of the dresser. Uh, see all these grooves here? This is from the wood boring beetle larva. And there's a couple grooves here. Funny enough, that screw is right in a groove. And if you really take a look, most of the damage is in that first area, right between the bark and the wood. That's where they love to spend most of their time. But every once in a while, they will end up leaving and start to burrow down further. I'm finished up with the treatment. Uh, just gonna wipe down any excess right now. And basically we just let this bad boy dry. And then over the next couple weeks, it's gonna kill off any larva inside the dresser here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did today. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.